Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Patsy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I took this literal hole in the wall and transformed it into a usable coat closet. So the very first thing that I did was clean it out. This area was just collecting things. I didn't really know what to do with it whenever we moved in. There were tons of things that I needed to patch up in this area. The door frame was just messy looking. Um, so you'll see that I patched that a little later. And also excuse the pineapple lights. Um, they have to go eventually, but we need an electrician. The people in this house previously really also loved, loved painting over hardware. Um, there's a lot of that in all of my makeovers. So be on the lookout for that. You guys, seriously, all of this hardware is so gross and crusty, um, but we got it to be really nice and clean. After the door was removed, the hardware was removed, it was time to go in and paint. Looking back on this, I would have redone the door frame first, um, but you will see an outfit change in a moment. Um, and I won't put you through the pain of watching me paint for too long. And here we go. So I scraped off all of the gross um, chunks, as you can see, falling right there. After all of this was clean, I went in with some joint compound and really just made everything nice and smooth. So that way, whenever I painted with the same white that was used in the interior of the closet, it would just all look nice and not patchy like it was before. So as I was thinking out the process for where I wanted to hang the support for the rod, I had that nice little intermission from Jared because I had just bought new towels. I then moved on to spray painting. Again, I was working on a $0 budget, so I just took the hardware that was in the current closet. I cleaned it even though it does not look like it here. And I spray painted it with the black spray paint that I had on hand. Once everything was dry, I moved on to installing the door back on the hinges. So I did paint this door, uh, but I saved you guys the watching me paint the door. Um, but I did paint it the same color as the inside of the closet. An additional note, I was talking to Jared about Supernatural and then I did a little dance because it took me two tries to reinstall this door because the previous owner had multiple marks as to where the hinges should have gone. It was, it was a mess, but we got it friends, we got it. So now to the very exciting part. This was my very first time ever using my table saw. I set it up that day um, and here I am cutting down some extra board that was in the closet in our bedroom. So that way I could make a shelf for this closet. Pretty cool. I'm gonna have to learn this thing. Short. 
After I cut the shelf way too short, I took a very long time to pause and ponder life as I know it before I decided to just glue some spare one by twos onto the side. Um, it was just what I had on hand. I decided it was a scrap piece. And yes, that corner is bare. That is because I did not have a piece long enough. And honestly, we've used this shelf for a few months now and I have had no issues with it. So that's the solution that I took. Let me know in the comment section what you would have done differently other than obviously having a one by two long enough to fit into that little corner. So here's the closet where I took the rod from. I'm gonna take these down, probably just spray paint them. My past self was right, I really do need a shop table and I will be building that soon. Moving on, I cut metal for the first time ever. This was terrifying, but I did it. It was so easy. Success. I don't know how this works, so I don't have to cut it down again. <laughs> I wanted to add a quick clip here to show you everything that was put together. So the shelf, the metal rod, I spray painted those brackets and put them in. And I also took some brackets that I had in the garage and just put them in the corners for extra support for that shelf. I found that the middle support just wasn't enough. It was very wobbly. After that, it was finally, finally time to put our coats in a good place. So you can see me just arranging everything here. We had the shoe rack in the basement. I was pleasantly surprised that it actually fit in the space. So I used it, um, which has been great um, for saving space in the basement and putting our shoes somewhere that we could actually use them. And here you have it, um, our completely transformed hole in the wall turned closet. This was a very fun project for me and I spent zero dollars. I used everything that I already had on hand, some of which came with the house. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video or other DIYs and basic woodworking builds, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and comment down below. I will see you all next time.